Greetings, city of Newman, California. Come in the name of the Lord, repent and be baptized, for the kingdom of heaven is near. All of you here in Newman who do not know Jesus Christ as Savior, I want to invite you to become a Christian today and be baptized in the Spirit. If you're ready to say to Jesus, I'm sorry for my sins, thank you for dying to save me, I welcome you into my heart and commit my life to you. If you can say that and mean it, then I baptize you in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. You are now a Christian on your way to heaven. And so, uh, now you're a Christian. Some of you, though, said, no, I want to uh, let you give you the uh, truth about what happens if you die without being a Christian. Uh, the fact of the matter is, and it's not being preached enough anymore, is you will go to hell. And that means eternal punishment. Eternal, eternal separation from God, which is basically punishment and misery. It's your choice, though. You see, it's really not God sending you to hell. It's your choice. Because if you choose not to be with God, then, then that's where you'll end up. You'll be separated from God forever. So you can't say, oh, God is so mean, you send us to hell. No, you send yourself there because you chose not to be a part of his life. And so uh, I hope you reconsider before it's too late. The consequences are that great. You can make a decision any time, but I wouldn't gamble and say, oh, I'll just wait till the last minute or second. You never know when you're going to die. You're not even going to have a, like... Some people don't get that last will and testament time where they're on their deathbed. You know, he could just die in a, in a flash in a car accident of some sort or plane crash or whatever the case may be. You don't gamble. Make the decision. Say yes to Jesus here in Newman and anywhere else in, in the world. Uh... And those of you who said, yes, it's your, it's your happy day. You're on your way to heaven. You're part of the family of God, body of Christ. Uh, three things you should do right away. Start uh, praying, talking to God. Call it prayer. And uh, then also get a Bible. Read the Bible as much as possible. Get familiar with it, especially John 3, verse 16, the main theme. And find a good church that affirms traditional values, meaning one man, one woman marriage, and will defend unborn life. God is against abortion. He wants us to protect others. And uh, read the uh, box below because I can't put everything in the video right now. So God be with you and bless you. I'll be praying for you. Message me anytime with any questions.